Project Tango enables mobile devices to see and understand the world around them. Uh, and here we're showing off a number of different applications that uh, developers are building on top of our platform. Uh, so this is the Tango device. Uh, and you can see that it has a couple of different sensors on it. So here we've got a wide angle camera okay. to see sort of a fisheye view of the world. And this is an infrared projector. And this camera can see in infrared. And from that, we get depth. Uh, and we combine information from these special cameras with inertial sensors on the device, so an accelerometer and gyroscope, okay. to track the position and orientation as it moves through space, and also to measure distance to objects. So um, if we go to uh, the first application that I can show, uh, so this is a basic measurement application. So maybe if we kind of walk over here, okay. say I want to measure sort of the rough uh, distance between the legs on the chair, uh, I can very quickly sort of see that, you know, it's about one foot six inches. Um, I can also do things like measure areas. And I can even measure volumes, but I can, yeah, so I can place it on the edge and sort of measure along the edge. So in addition to that, maybe you want to actually place some furniture in your home. So Wayfair is a company uh, that sells furniture online. And one of the problems that they have is that people often return this furniture because it's too big, it doesn't fit. So now say I want to place a chair in the environment, so maybe this blue chair. So I can just tap where I would like the chair, and it loads, and you can see the box um, falls apart. And now I've got, oh, sorry, I've got a chair in my environment, and I can rotate it around. I can move it along the surface, uh, and I can view what it looks like. So we can move in, you know, see the detail of it, um, see how it looks like in the space. And then if I like it, I can. This is already integrated into their app, so I can directly place it into my shopping cart. Uh, another thing, um, we've also got. Uh, Lowe's is a partner of us too, so they're a hardware store, but they sell things like fridges and washing machines. Um, and so with them, you can do kind of a similar thing, but let's say we want to place a uh, stove uh, against the wall and see how it looks. And so, you know, you can see like, okay, this is exactly where the stove is against the wall. Another application, that I can show you guys over here is, uh, so the device has the ability to scan 3D environments. So like one scan that we created before, this is just a, a room in our office. Uh, you know, so this is a 3D kind of like textured model. So if we want to do this uh, here, we can just hit the plus button. Um, you can see we're starting to get depth information. And then if I hit the record button, now it starts in color. And as I move around the world, uh, I can start, you know, getting a 3D reconstruction of the space and just very quickly kind of generating a 3D model. I can look up, you know, to make sure that I get more of the walls. Um, and so very, very quickly, I generate like the 3D model of the space. Um, if I stop this, so you can see right now it looks a little bit rough. Uh, the textures are rough, but this progress bar, it'll take maybe 30 seconds to a minute uh, to complete, uh, but I've already made a scan where I did that. Okay, so this scan was already done. Uh, so if you zoom in, you can actually see like the detail on the textures, where you can see sort of the knitting, and it's just a much higher quality uh, representation. So another thing that you can do is, when you have this 3D representation, you can build games. Uh -huh. uh, and this is a game by a company called Phenomena. And so what they've done <laughs> is uh, created this game called World. And the first thing you do is you kind of align uh, this image with your actual environment. So okay. of see, so this will probably be good enough. And then, so you can see, I've got this like house and like a little guy who runs around. Uh, but it's an open world that you can play with. And so, um, as I like walk up here, let's say I want to place a cloud in the world. So I put a cloud there, and then I can put a little plant below the cloud. And then I can click on the cloud and I can make it rain on the plants. And you'll see that the plant is actually starting to grow. <laughs> and then it sprouts into, you know, a flower. 
Uh, but because I also have uh, the geometry of the environment, I can do things like take this, uh, take this cloud and I can say we want to stick it uh, maybe on the ceiling somewhere. So I can stick it on the ceiling. And you can see that it's obeying the physics of the environment. And then I can grab it and I can throw it and you know it'll swing and bounce off of things in the world. So then, uh, because we also have the physics, I can take this little spout. Uh, let's say I want to put it maybe here. So now I have this water spout, and if I turn it on, uh -huh. uh, it starts filling up the room with water. And you can see like the little guy will start floating, and the water level rises and rises and rises like above the objects in the environment. And then if we go below the water, you can see like we're in kind of a different world underwater and we can move objects around. And then say I want to um, I want to drain the environment. So I can put a drain into the world and then I can open it and you'll see that the water level starts gradually going down. We're really excited to see what developers do with this. Uh, this was a partnership with the American Museum of Natural History um, and so one of the things that they want to do is to be able to educate people uh, about dinosaurs. Uh, this space, I think we can put a full-size velociraptor in this space, but this is a really nice way to educate uh, kids uh, and the general public on, you know, what what did dinosaurs look like. So we are launching the first Project Tango device for consumers this summer in partnership with Lenovo. And for more information on that and a sneak peek at what will be coming, you should check out Lenovo Tech World, which is in three weeks.